Well, I'm going to talk about silver and a revolution. You know, Max Kaiser talks about a peaceful revolution. Just buy a silver coin and uh, you break J.P. Morgan. But you know, there's so much... Well, I'm going to say there's a revolution going on in a lot of ways because there seems to be major problems behind the Obama administration with these generals resigning. Don't let the... Uh, sex affairs fool you because there's a lot more going on behind that than be, than you think. And you know, I presented that video with General Petraeus before, but I deliberately overemphasized that, you know, sexual affairs and extramarital affairs are pretty much the norm. Any playing in a high military or especially high political office, it's the norm. So if somebody has to resign due to that, it's other reasons. You know, I went over the top on a lot of this stuff before in my other video, but I did that on purpose because I want people to realize hammered into their heads that this has nothing to do with his affair or why he resigned. It has to do with everything with Benghazi. So I'm all for getting back to American traditions and that type of stuff, and that's the type of revolution we should have. I know there's like stuff out there about seceding from the Union. Uh, you know... <laughs> I actually put my name on that thing, and, uh, you know, the White House is looking into everybody, but I also put my name on, you know, doing a hemp and getting that guy out of trouble for freaking using some hemp to heal somebody. Because I think if the states secede from the Union, well, there's a lot better chance of less, well, there won't be any federal regulation of hemp. And, you know, at a state level, it'll be figured out. Hemp is going to save the economy, save the uh, medical industry the health industry, bring down the cost of healing, because it's medicinal marijuana and that type of stuff. And uh, I'm all for going back to old core traditions like this uh, Pontiac, 1950s Pontiac here. This girl, this uh, woman is leaning up against with the uh, hot leather attire. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's pretty classic. It doesn't, uh, you don't have to wash it as much, too. But, uh, you know, with ben but General Betrayus, there's, there is a revolution going on. You know, i got to also point out, you remember um, with Miss, you know, Broadwell or whatever, you also had um, another one out there, the other woman, which was Miss Kelly. Actually, her name was, um, her maiden name was Kowam. She was a uh, Christian Lebanese. But something really doesn't add up about that because... Um, What's going on is they threw so many parties for this military people, and it cost them so much money, they actually have their house being foreclosed on. So you wonder, what the hell was the deal going on there? There's something behind the scenes that doesn't make sense, you know? It's like there was had to be an alternative, ulterior motive behind all this stuff. And, you know, if you realize that this woman, uh, Miss Kelly, who actually is Lebanese, or Christian Lebanese, she lives um, in Tampa, and Tampa is actually where they have all the drone center underground. So, you know, what's the deal why she was always associating with all these high high generals and stuff? So, And the other thing is, I, I want to point out, you know, they had General Allen from... Um, see, there's a revolution going on. There's something going on behind the scenes. All these guys resigning like this, there's, there's actually three or four of them. And maybe even Hillary Clinton. I don't know. I don't know. But there's something going on far deeper than a sexual affair. So there's going to be a major shakeup, which could maybe upset the markets. Maybe this is going to upset the markets at one point in time. Because I think, you know, how are markets really judged? It's fear or greed, right? And if you have a problem where you think something's going on in the country where things are really tumultuous, and they always are, I mean, somewhat, but if things are extraordinarily tumultuous, um, maybe there would be more fear in the markets. I don't know. I don't know. So I think there's like an underground type of revolution going on here. And, uh, you know, this uh, General Allen from the Marine Corps, who's losing a star for going to a lieutenant general, he's going to a three star and retiring as such, and uh, being fined $82,000 for misappropriating funds or something, I think it was. You know, this was a setup, too. You know, he was involved in an affair. Big deal. Big deal. <clears throat> you know, I, I really know that, you know, that's pretty much the norm behind the scenes. So they're, what they're doing is they're doing a some type of shakeup. 
And actually, it's coming from the ultra-left communist wing, like the Leon Panetta-type guys and stuff like that, who, by the way, together with Hillary Clinton, is uh, in Australia right now doing some kind of wine-sipping contest or some crap while all this is going on so they could avoid any of the heat that's going on in Washington right now till it blows over a little bit for a few days. How convenient. But I have to say, in a tradition of Ann Barnhart sticks her neck out too much, you know, General Allen... If you got any problems with these jerks as uh, one Marine, um, you know, I would very proudly take the counterattack initiative, but uh, just got to know who your enemies are. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't think nothing of weasels that are, are attacking, you know, proven Marines that have been in for 41 years that are actually combat veterans. The only types of people that are trying to bring somebody down like this because, uh, he, you know, he is a combat veteran, and he's 100% on the side of the USA. The only type, and it's not over this affair thing or whatever the hell it was. You know, I could give a shit if they gave this guy every single broad out there. You know, if he did a well, he did a great job. You know, you know, the, the 21 virgins like Allah gives you, fine. You know, that's fine by me, because he's 100% on the side of the USA. But somebody who's attacking him like this, I figured a damn communist all the way. So, the mission in the Marine Corps to get rid of communists. So, you know, just got to say, General, in the tradition of Ann Jim Barnhart, who sticks her neck out too much, um, I would side with you all the way on anything. So, I don't give a shit to tell you the truth. I'm a little crazy, but I usually keep my mouth shut, but I guess it's a little bit more of a public statement. I stick in with the true USA, and that's the Marine Corps. So, uh, getting on back to the markets again, but... Um, you know, some of this tumultuous political turmoil that's going on is probably going to be a major problem for the markets, too, at some point. Fear drives markets, too. Fear. You know, if it, if it looks like something's going on where there's something unstability in the U.S. government because 20 states are trying to secede from the Union, like shown on this map, and, you know, maybe this is, what's really going on here is they don't really want us to secede from the Union. They just figure that we got like a communist running oligarchy running, a communist corporate oligarchy running the United States, and they just don't want to be part of it. That's something I agree with. But the way I look at it, you know, anything, you know, I think General Chiang Kai-shek's method for <laughs> taking care of communists is probably the best one going, you know. Now, in and Barnhart, she says, like, uh, you know, I'm going to just have a tax strike. I wouldn't do that. I mean, if these guys are 100% anti-USA on the top, and they're looking to freaking destroy the USA and put it in a world government, hey, take them out. The traitors, right? What is the law of the land? Traitors get shot. I mean, you got to put them up through a trial. But, I mean, hell, you know, if they could look at Petraeus' emails and shit about uh, him screwing some broad, you know, Broadwell, Big deal. I mean, you can look at all the emails of all the other jackasses on the top that are portraying our nation. And if they're portraying our nation, put them in a trial. And, you know, just like back in the early 50s, like we had way back in the early 50s during this time period when these things were rolling on the streets, they took them out and they, you know, basically they put them in prison or shot them, right? I mean, what the hell? It's not illegal. They're against the United States. That's why they can, That's why a lot of people are looking to secede. But I don't think the secession thing's the right way. Hey, get rid of the communists, you know. I'm not talk. Yeah, it sounds like McCarthy witch hunt. But you know, I got to tell you the truth. Old McCarthy was pretty much right about a lot of this stuff too. He was. If you look back um, at that time, I know the major left wing media was way against him. But if you look after that time in say the early 90s when things were coming out with in Russian archives and a lot of studies were coming out a lot of those people that McCarthy named as communist in Hollywood not all of them he screwed up on some of them obviously where it was correct <laughs> they were freaking left-wing communists he was absolutely right so you know that's always been my contention that um, you know in the United States what's going on is um, we have a, we're being pushed into communism one step at a time. Actually, the USA is already pretty much overripe for socialist communism, just how it's run right now in its present form. The Constitution is pretty much ignored. So, you know, they pretty much won. But 
you know, there's always the people out there that will resist. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm one of them. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But, you know, I'm not going to resist by breaking the law or some kind of stuff like that. Because, like I said, even if you got communists out there that are anti-USA, yeah, by the law, they should be shot. They need to go to a trial. You need to present the evidence. And, you know, if they're traitors to the USA and they're always dealing with, you know, like Obama himself, I'm beginning to wonder about that jerk too. But, you know, that's another issue um, with Obama. You know, it's quite interesting, and this is what I really figure what the, the ultimate and uh, ulterior mood, uh, motive of the guys that are using it, trying to disintegrate America are doing. Obama clearly, you know, maybe this is going to be a politically incorrect statement, but I'm just saying objectively, uh, Obama clearly is somebody is not actually qualified to be president due to the birth certificate deal. That actually is not just political stuff. I mean, when I looked at that crap they came up with that it was his birth certificate, I mean, I could have made a better forgery than that in no time flat. I mean, I don't even know who the hell they got in the White House to do that. They were idiots. I mean, if somebody, you know, if I was in the White House and he says, hey, go make up a, bo a birth certificate for Obama, I would have done a far better job than the shit they, that, that those people presented. That thing was obviously a fake. So I know he's born in Kenya. It's bullshit, you know. But I'm not even too worried about that part, to tell you the truth. I know that. But that does honestly make him unqualified to be president. But the point is, you know, guys like Soros knew this ahead of time. So what did he put him in there for? He put him in there to create havoc in the United States. That's that's what I see. And, um, you know, that little... And Obama is basically going to be working with, you know, Russia to make a weak America. That's what I see, too. I see the guy is probably likely to be a traitor to America, big time. And I think a lot of people see that, too. I don't see him as a Muslim. And even if he was a Muslim, I wouldn't really give a shit too much because... There's a lot of different shades of Muslim out there. I mean, there's peaceful ones and there's crazy lunatic ones too. So I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see Obama as a crazy lunatic, um, a Muslim, but he's very, very uh, socialistic in a lot of ways. I don't like that, but you know, it could be proven that a lot of people in our very high offices, even presidents, are traitors to our nation, and they work with. Uh, uh, you know, uh, corporate elements, for one. I mean, it could be Republicans, too. I mean, really, none of the people we even elect to office really are for the people. None of them are. So, in a lot of ways, you know, people are realizing that we got this big uh, plutocracy, oligarchy, whatever the hell it is on the top, that's really running the show on both parties, and they're getting fed up with it. So, what may mean, that may mean, is a lot of loss of faith in the financial system. And I'm seeing things coming to a head. Oh, by the way, there was another one out there called, uh, female out there called uh, Wellbroad. That's her name, I forgot. But it was, uh, she was found dead. She was another one that was involved in affairs with generals. And she was found dead. Well, not, she wasn't found dead, but she's assumed to be dead. And her uh, ID license was found in a park near her home, near Tampa. So, there's more stuff going on behind these resignations. And it's probably even deeper than Benghazi. It's almost like, um, you know, a purge. <laughs> and it's being done by the left wing. You know, these are more right wing generals and stuff like that. That's being done by the left wing. So, anyway, today, silver and platinum, palladium, everything's moving up a little bit. I want to mention something about platinum. You know, it moved up the least today, right? But in the last 11 years, platinum levels have been at the uh, lowest they've ever been. Platinum stockpiles. Now, last year, 2011, they had to pull stuff out of stockpiles, and the price actually dropped during the year. doesn't make any sense fundamentally. Now, does that mean J.P. Morgan is... Re I don't know what the hell's going on, to tell you the truth. But, you know, the honest fact is, if you try to trade in your platinum, your spot price is 1583 as it sits right now, and that's what you get in dollars. It did, you know, fundamentally, it should be a hell of a lot more than gold. And it is a fact, another fact that just being pointed out again for 2012 as the year is approaching an end. Platinum should be in the biggest shortage it's been for stockpiles since in the last 11 years. So, and if you look back 11 years ago, it was doing pretty damn good. So, 
that was when it was quite, you know, it was like sitting around twice of the price of gold. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the hell the future is on it, but I'm holding on because I think that's another good investment. But really what's going to start driving up the markets maybe is, you know, if there's more of these, met these generals being knocked out by this left-wing communist bastards uh, over bullshit, uh, you know, I'm going to say it's bullshit. You know, a misappropriation of overspending of funds. You could nail anybody on that in any way, shape, or form across the entire military or political system. Every way, shape, or form. Every single person could be nailed for that. This is a, why, this is a major reason why when something goes on, it's like, and you know, there's a, definitely a problem with one individual that they're anti-American. A lot of other people keep their mouth shut because everybody... No matter who it is, could be nailed for something at the high levels. It's impossible that you know somebody isn't involved in something one way or another. But uh, what's going on here is actually um, it's it's a left-wing purging of people that are 100% pro-American, like this general here. And I got to say, you know, Ann Barnhart is basically right in her heart, but um, she's also very stupid in her method. So. You know, in a case where I think, you know, if you're going to revolt against the United States or something like that, you're not going to revolt against the United States. What you're going to do is you're going to revolt against the communist bastards that have usurped the United States. In the case of Ann Barnhart, where she's saying she's not going to pay the taxes, well, she's been paying her taxes since she's probably 16 years old. There isn't much difference between now and last year, so I don't know where the hell she's coming up with this thing. And then, if she's not going to pay her taxes... Um, I don't see, I, you know, announcing it to the whole world, including the IRS, that she's went on on a tax strike is definitely not the way to do it. Definitely not the way to do it. So, I mean, every business person and businessman in the world does not want to pay their taxes one way or the other. And actually what they do is they pretty much go through every great length they possibly can to minimize the outlay of cash going to the Uncle Sam. Because when you think about it, Basically, it doesn't even go to the people or doesn't go to the government. It doesn't go to the defense. It goes to interest, which is controlled by, you know, which is going to the banks who lent the government the money. So that's where your tax money goes to. You know, it's not, you know, I don't even want people to even think that somebody tries to minimize their taxes. They're evil because they're not doing their fair share. It actually goes to interest on a debt. That's mainly where it goes. So... You're not even help. It's not like you're taking it from somebody else on the other side of the spectrum in the United States. But we got to get away from, uh, you know, I think with silver, though, what's going to happen, it's going to be affected greatly by, a, there's, there's an underlying revolution going on. And, you know, it's kind of weird that we've had, you know, there's a few generals that are resigning. And all this is stuff has happened right after the election. Right after the election. You know, it's interesting. Now, with the case of Romney, if Romney won, there'd be more bullshit going on. Just that in the case of Romney, nobody would be looking at the administration too hard because they'd be on a sweetheart period the first year or so where, oh, let's give him a chance. Well, I, you know what? I look deep into Romney, what he's about. That guy is hardcore, evil, Bush Cheney, um, you know, Sandinista, right wing camp all the way. He's an evil bastard. So he's all about money and he's that's what he's in. He's in with the oligarchy all the way. But so is Obama. So is Obama. So what you got going on here is uh, you know, basically a lot of people totally fed up with everything. It's been going on simmering for years. So there might be some type of uh, you know, this is something that can maybe be bullish for rev um for silver too because people just might start to pull money out of banks and buy precious metals. You know, it has been the money for centuries. So, you know, this new awakening, because really when the price of silver is going to go up is when there's a real extreme demand in by the middle class and that type of stuff. But, you know, it could start to happen now. It could start to happen now. It seems like there's a number of things out there that are playing out that are going to cause, uh, you know, more fear in the markets. And, with you know, all these things are basically... It's almost like an underlying revolution that's going on. But maybe a good revolution if it's smart. It's smart because it can't be something like Occupy Wall Street in the 99%. I guess the best thing you can possibly do is, uh, you know, 
just make sure you're no matter what field you're in that you're always thinking of what the Bill of Rights is about because this that actually protects each and every American citizen just remember the Bill of Rights don't worry too much about politics remember the Bill of Rights that's the most important thing